Hey guys, this is a gear post and I want to tell you first, my name's Shannon and you're at the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. This is about two different things. Follow up to my boot glue story that everybody seems to have got a lot of humor out of, gluing the soles back on my wading boots. And one thing that I found is these Danco knives in a set of three. I don't get any deals from Danco. I just, and I don't use knives a whole lot, but if you use knives or want some really, what I consider to be great price knives that are really good knives, these are 4116 German steel, stainless steel. And it's a set of three and it's $24 for three knives. And I'm guessing, I picked it on a little, picked it up on a little dip, and I think in the dip was they didn't charge shipping, so 24 bucks, no tax, in hand, it's a great deal. Three knives, let me show them to you. These are the three knives right here, Danco products. You know me, I like Danco because they make the premium pliers that I like so much, and they're for what they are. Danco premiums are really affordable pliers, you know. Um, all right, this knife right here, staying on the boat. I like the size of it. This is the four inch tournament series. And uh, I just really like that for the boat. Good knife. You can, you can, if you're a fish eater cleaner and you want to eat sushi on salt, well, sashimi actually. That's a knife you want to keep on the boat. And then we go to the six inch knife. This is another uh, fish cleaning knife, supposedly. The, the serrated is for bone cutting. But for me, this will just be a backup to all my other knives. I need to do a story on all, all of my fillet knives that I never use. Um, and then this is a cool knife for the house. I got this to keep in the house, stiff blade, serrated all the way. That to me looks like a really good bread knife. So we're gonna see how that works out. Danco, it's, I've got a link to this particular uh, set of knives down in my description below. What I would do if I was you is I would stay uh, alert on that. Go ahead and get, a, get an account at Danco. And then what you can do is get notified when sales come on. And that's what happened to me. And that's how I got those for 23 knives there for 24 bucks. Really nice. I think uh, I'm going to get some use out of these. If not, my wife will definitely use that for cutting bread. Good stuff right here, Danco. All right, drum roll please. This is it. This is the moment. I went ahead and peeled the tape off, the packing tape off of a, one of the boots. The other one is, I, I peeled it off the pretty boot, not the ugly boot. <laughs> Here it is. On, adhesive is holding like a banshee all the way around and what I think and what it did though you got to keep in mind gluing this you got to be judicious there's enough adhesive in there that it stiffened up the sole so I'm gonna have to break these in again there's enough I did not want these to come undone so when I put it put it all back together and pressed it together that there's a big gobs of adhesive in there and that you're going to go a little thinner than I went. If you look back to that video, there's a link to it up there. Um, you'll see how I did that. Um, people got a lot of laughs out of that video. But anyway, ready to rock. And this, the moral of the story is if this glue, this adhesive, this bonding of Cicaflex 221, I think I said it was, 221 Cica, um, if this doesn't hold, they go in the trash. New pair. <laughs> but I won't be trying that out for a little while unless somebody invites me to go down on the sand in South Padre Island or somewhere. Um, but it looks like it's going to hold people. I mean, I can't, I cannot physically get it loose. And I could get the other, other adhesive loose. All right, that's a quickie. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the gear stuff. Let me know if you like it. If you don't, let me know too. And I'll stop doing gear stuff. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and check out some of my other YouTube stuff going on on Blue Dots and my photography channel, which is, there's a link to Blue Dots and there's a link to the photography channel, F8, be there. And that's gonna be kind of like a historical thing, historical perspective on photography um, for photojournalism. Thanks for watching, see you next time.